I found a trading strategy that profited 130% in just two months of trading. It involves using just two indicators, and best of all, both of them are completely free on TradingView. This strategy is extremely easy to use, works in all markets, and it's insanely profitable. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I'll be sharing some secrets to make this strategy even better. And I'm going to share the backtest results to show you how it performed while taking 100 trades. Let's get straight to it. First things first. First, you need to get on TradingView. I'll leave a link in the description. Once you're on the chart, type in any security you want to trade with. Like I said earlier, this strategy works with basically any security, so there's really no wrong answer. For this example, I'm going to be using Doge because why not? Once you've selected what you want to trade, you're going to add the first indicator. The first indicator is the DEMA, or the double EMA. If you don't know what the double exponential moving average is, it's basically an upgraded version of the exponential moving average. It was created in 1994 and was made to give faster signals with less lag compared to the normal EMA. So the blue one is the double exponential moving average, and a normal exponential moving average is the red one. As you can see, the double exponential moving average is a lot lower and is giving entry signals a lot faster than the normal EMA, which in return is giving us a lot less lag. But you should also understand that less lag is not always a good thing. This is because lag can sometimes help filter out noise and give a higher success rate at times. But I back tested this strategy with both a double exponential moving average and a normal moving average, and the double exponential moving average performed better with this specific strategy. Once you have the double exponential moving average added, we have to change the settings a bit. Go to the settings of the double exponential moving average and we want to change the length to 200. Then go to the style tab and we're going to change it to blue just so it's a bit easier to see. The second indicator for the strategy is one that we've used on this channel before and that is the super trend indicator. To add it, go to the indicators tab and type in super trend. Make sure to choose this one right here. Go to the settings of the super trend indicator and make sure to change the ATR period to 12 and the ATR multiplier to 3. Now that we have the indicators added and all the settings are correct, let's get on with how to use this strategy. In this example, we're trading on the Doge USD on the 15 minute time frame. The very first rule of this strategy is that we will only enter a long trade if the price is above the double exponential moving average, the blue line. If the price isn't above the blue line, we will not enter the trade. The second rule we must follow is that the super trend indicator gives a buy signal. Let me show you an example. So here the price is above the blue line, but the super trend indicator hasn't given a buy signal yet. So we wait. After waiting some time, the super trend indicator gives a buy signal. It is also important to note that you must wait for the buy signal candle to close before entering. This candle could give a buy signal, but change before it closes, keeping it a sell signal. So make sure you only enter after the buy signal candle closes. Once the candle closes, we enter the trade. You're going to set your stop loss at the buy signal line of the super trend indicator. So for this example, right here. The coolest thing about this strategy is that we basically have infinite profit potential. Unlike my other trading strategies where you set a 1.5 or 2 profit ratio, we're going to do something different with this strategy. We are only going to sell once the super trend indicator becomes a sell signal. This is one of the reasons why this strategy is so powerful because you're going to have some trades where there's going to be a 4.2 profit ratio or even higher. So going back to the example, we saw the price was above the 200 double exponential moving average and the super trend indicator gave a buy signal. We then enter the trade after the candle closed and set our stop loss at the buy signal of the super trend indicator. We then wait while the price goes up for a sell signal from the super trend indicator. The super trend indicator then turns red and gives us a sell signal. This is when we exit the trade and as you can see we got a profitable trade. Let's do one more example. We see price just cross the blue line. We wait for a buy signal from the super trend. Once we see one we enter, set our stop loss at the buy signal of the super trend, then wait for a sell signal. Once we see one we exit the trade 
profit. Let's go over an example for shorting. After that, I'll be sharing some secret tips for you guys to help make this strategy even more profitable. I'll also share how this strategy did while making 100 trades. So for a short trade, you're going to be doing the exact opposite. Make sure the price is below the 200 double exponential moving average. Wait for a sell signal to occur. Once it does, enter the trade. Set the stop loss at the sell signal, then stay in the trade till you see a buy signal. Once you see one, exit the trade profit. Alright, I think you guys get the point. It's a pretty easy strategy to use. Now, it's time to go over some secret tips to make this strategy even better. One tip I would recommend is for a situation like this, where the price is below the blue line, but the super trend indicator is giving a buy signal. What I'd recommend doing here is waiting for the price to cross the blue line and then entering. Rather than not going in the trade because the buy signal came before crossing the blue line, we still want to enter once the price crosses the blue line. If you only entered when the price is above the blue line and then the super trend indicator gives a buy signal in that order, you would miss out on a lot of opportunities like this one. Another tip for using this strategy is maybe implementing another indicator called the Fibonacci Bollinger Bands. I didn't end up backtesting the strategy with this indicator, but I did look at a couple examples and saw you would get potentially more profit if you use this indicator with this strategy. Leave it in the comments what your results were and if this strategy was better with or without them. Because after all, I want to make this channel a community where we all help each other out. But let's get on with how to use the Fibonacci Bollinger Bands with this strategy. So all you have to do is go to the Indicators tab and type in FBB for Fibonacci Bollinger Bands. Then go to the settings of the indicator and uncheck all the boxes besides the boxes with the ones. Then change the colors to red just so you can see the lines better. These lines are basically going to be acting as an absolute high and an absolute low for the price. So if the price ever touches the red line, we're going to sell immediately, even if the super trend indicator still has a buy signal. If the price does ever hit the Fibonacci Bollinger Band, it usually reflects off it and goes the opposite direction. So as you can see in this example, the price hit our Bollinger Band, so we sold here, even though the super trend indicator was still green. And if we fast forward, we made more money selling here than if we sold when the super trend indicator told us to. The price will rarely hit these Fibonacci Bollinger Bands, but if it does, sell. Like I said, I didn't backtest this strategy with the Bollinger Bands, but I did check a couple examples with it and it was more profitable a majority of the time. Next, let's take a look at the backtest results for the original strategy. For this backtest, I traded both DogeUSD and LTCUSD. I did 100 trades which took around 2.5 months. The most wins in a row I had with this strategy was 8 and the most losses in a row was 3. This stat by itself is insanely good for a trading strategy and the trading strategy had a success rate of 60% with 60 winning trades and 40 losing trades. The total amount of gains from 100 trades was 130.14%. So yeah, this strategy was pretty good. If you want to learn how to backtest trades like this and test your own personal strategies, watch this video where I go over how to do so and backtest your strategies with years of data on TradingView so you can see just how profitable your strategies actually are. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.